Today's idea of the day, I'm going to talk a little bit about a little known feature in Gmail. Did you know that every Gmail address can have periods in it and they can be in any position and no matter where you put those periods, you will still get the mail. So let's say, for example, your email address is ladybugkiller123 at gmail.com. And of course, there may or may not be somebody with that address. So if there is, I apologize if they're getting spam because of my video. But let's say your email address is ladybugkiller123. And you sell, tell somebody, hey, my email address is ladybug.killer.123. That's actually two different spellings of Ladybug Killer 123, but both go to the same mailbox, which means that if you told somebody your email address with those two periods and you told another person the same mailbox without the periods, both will end up in the same mailbox. In fact, you could put a period between every single letter, L dot A dot D dot, etc. Or you could just Ladybug dot Killer or even Lady dot bug killer. You get what I'm saying? You can put periods anywhere you want. So why am I telling you this? Why would you want to put periods all over your email box? Well, let's say you're going to register for a website and it asks you for your email address and you don't want to get spam or you're buying something. It needs an email address for product uh, confirmation. Whatever the reason, you're going to a website, and you're signing up for something. When you sign up for those other emails, use a different variation of the periods essentially using a different spelling of your email box. And again, why would you want to do that? Well, there is another feature that you could use. Now I'm going to navigate to it on my other screen and I'll show it to you on the side. You go to the little gear option while you're in Gmail, and I'm only telling you this about Gmail, this doesn't work with other email systems. Go down to the little sprocket, that gear thing, and choose settings. And then you'll see a section called filters and blocked addresses. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see an option that says create a filter. And what you're going to do there is you're going to take one of those alternate spellings of your email address with the extra periods and you'll create a filter that says every time a email comes in with lady dot bug dot killer, et cetera, et cetera, whatever dot variation you have, you can then tell it to skip your inbox and go, let's say to another folder or tag as they call them in Gmail called spammer or called promotional or called whatever you want to call it. And then every single time you get an email addressed to lady dot killer dot bug, whatever, etc. It'll show up there instead of your inbox. And it's important. You check off the option that says skip inbox. The whole point of this is to not have all that junk in your inbox in the first place. This way, whenever somebody sends you a message spelled the, the right way, it'll go in your inbox. Now, if you've already got an inbox full of junk, do the opposite. Create an alternate dot version that you'll tell your friends to use from now on whenever they want to reach you and then make that go to a separate section called private or called personal or called whatever you want to call it. This way, whenever you set a filter, and again, you'll do the filter using the same screens I just showed you, your special customized version of your email address will have just messages that you know are from those people who knew where to put the periods to make it reach you. And that's today's idea of the day. So, hey, thanks for watching. I don't really need any subscribers, but it would really be nice if you hit the subscribe button and shared this with your friends and told everybody how nice it is to be here and how there's lots of nice ideas every day. That would be nice. I don't need subscribers or anything like that. All I need is maybe this chair. And that's it, nothing else. Except maybe this paddleball game, the remote control, the ashtray and the lamp. But that's it. I don't need anything else. Thanks.